What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you for checking out this video. Alright, guys. I wasn't going to initially make this um, video tonight, but this definitely is something that will prove the things that I talk about as far as the United States being a corporation. Um, after a lot of investigating, I've actually learned where to find the U.S. code that actually proves that the United States, in all capital letters, is actually a corporation. And I will post, you could look at any other link, but I'm um, texting, I'm going to print out the, uh, we'll post the link from Cornell University. Um, they actually, somebody did a report and they show this. This is under uh, 28 U.S. Code 3002, under Definitions. Scroll down to definition number 15. So they give a lot of different um, definitions. And in definition 15, United States means A, a federal corporation, B, an agency, department, commission, board, or other entity of the United States, or C, an instrumentality of the United States. So what they're telling you is the word United States is actually a corporation. And you could find it in the DC code. So not only have I given proof from law dictionaries, not only have I given definitions of the word person in DC code, which I've made in other videos, it tells you right in the DC code where the United States is a federal corporation. And the one thing that I noticed is it doesn't have to be in all capital letters. It's just the word United States by itself. It doesn't say United States of America. It's talking about the United States. So that could mean that it doesn't actually have to be in all capital letters because they're just showing a capital U and a capital S. But they have it in quotes, and they say that it is a federal corporation. And that's why if you see even things like, for example, um, 14 of this very same section, the term state means any of the several states, the District of Columbia, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, the Commonwealth of North Marianas, or any territory or possession of the United States. So what they're also telling you is that the state of New York, the state of California, the state of Hawaii, the state of Minnesota, these are part of the corporation. So I want people to verify this. Don't just take my word for it. Look it up. So there is actual proof under the D.C. code, under the Cornell University law, using their texts and definitions, showing where to find it. And you could look at any other link. Just add, just write down the uh, Title 28, 3002. And in parentheses, put 15, A, B, and C in a Google search, and you will find it. So hopefully that helps people to understand that I know the things that I talk about may seem crazy. They may seem out of this world, but this is actual more proof. I don't know how much more people need to show that our government was overthrown in 1871, and they created a new government in the District of Columbia, and they created a corporation known as the United States. So I learned something here today. I just, I thought that United States had to be in all capital letters. It actually, according to the definition, does not. So it does show, if you think about it, there is a difference between the United States of America and the United States. So according to the DC code, the United States is a corporation. Thanks for watching. Don't just take my word for it. Check the link. I'll put it in the description below. Give this a thumbs up. Give this a share. Show this to everybody. It's time to stop with the people who say they don't believe in this stuff. And we need to show this to people who have no idea what any of this is all about. So we are part of a corporation. If you are a citizen or a person, you are also considered a corporation. It's the biggest scam that's been going on for the past couple of hundred years. How long do we want to keep it to continue? Thanks for watching.